Hello everyone and welcome to Monkeyfish channel. In today's video I would like to share with you one training session which I found really interesting. Together with Michael from Zendragon channel we decided to make a one grappling round and here it is. So we have a really strange greetings, we start like a Kung Fu practitioners, then we go with fist bombs like a PJ guys, but never mind. So here we start to fight on the grip. I didn't try to go for Kumikata. For those who don't know what Kumikata is, it is a basic judo grip where you hold the collar and sleeve. Here I try to go with neck and wrist just to, you know, not destroy his clothes. And as you can see, my guy is more active than me. I was more passive. I was waiting for what he's going to do. And here you have some throw attempt. And after that, he go for some sweep but because he didn't follow with the movement it was really easy to defend for me so this is how he ended up on his back and i was on the top but because he was a bjj guy for some time then probably he feel much better on his back than me and as you can see he already go for tricone choke but i think he go with the wrong leg but later i think he switched but i don't remember uh, for me, it was really interesting uh, match because we didn't talk about the rules before that. We just say we just do grappling, and for the first time, when I do grappling with him, he have a hoodie on him because normally he have a rush guard or tank top, so it was more like BJ friendly than judo friendly. And here we have a hoodie, so I wanted to grab something. And here my judo instinct turned on. So for the most of the time, I tried to choke him with his own clothes. And he tried to run away because I guess it was really annoying for him. And was probably a new experience because he not used to, to training with gi or clothes like this. So he tried to push me back with his leg, but I slipped down so he could not do anything about this and I still try to choke him with his clothes here I decide to go for a sleeve choke but I don't I think I didn't succeed and yeah you know I'm not so good with fighting on the ground I have a few good techniques but you know my strategy normally is just to be annoying for the second guy hold him down i'm really actually i'm better with holding than you know joint locks or chokes and if we're talking about the chokes this have to be choked with gi mine gi or his gi so you know i like to choke with the clothes not normal chokes and as you can see i all the time try to choke him with his own uh, clothes for most of the time he tried to run away but i still keeping him on his back but you know, I think he did pretty good with trying to escape, but I think it was a new experience for him, so yeah, you have to deal with that. <laughs> so I think slowly we go to the end. I tried to again, I think with sleeve choke, but I could not do it. So I tried to go for, a, for neck crank, but I didn't go from this side, but then I tried to go with my second arm, normally I used my second arm for that. I don't know why I'd go for this one, but doesn't matter. But then, as you can see, he is still on his back and I try to keep him down all the time. And here we go. I go with my better arm under his head. And now is the moment for cracking. Yes, and you have a tap. It was a interesting fight i think for me and for him probably and in the end good sportsmanship just high five and go home okay so this is it i hope that you also found this scrapping interesting and i hope that you enjoy this kind of content so thank you for watching see you next time